Hi, Tim Yao here, community pioneer in Roundhouse Park in Cringleford, and welcome to this week's edition of Cringleford Assembly. Well, as always, we start off with a track, and so coming up, we've got Madonna with Material Girl. Hope you enjoy it. That was Madonna with Material Girl coming back from 1984, some would say in her prime. And here's some of the lyrics. They can beg and they can plead, but they can't see the light because the boy with the cold hard cash is always Mr. Right. Because we're living in a material world and I'm a material girl. You know that we're living in a material world and I am a material girl. Madonna struck a chord with that kind of 1980s ethic of show me the money. Uh, and, and I think we're still living in the uh, echo of that today. You know, we all need money and most of us would like a little bit more if that was possible. This uh, Friday coming up is Black Friday, a time when we can all get a bargain. I don't know if you'll be shopping and you'll be out there uh, trying to get something for Christmas or something for the home or something just for yourself. But what are the background stories around Black Friday? Firstly, why is it called Black Friday? You know, is it black because of the bruises people get? Well, no, because most people know that Black Friday is the day after the American Festival of Thanksgiving, uh, when stores open early and offer various sales. Uh, stores are often in the black or profitable on that day because so much money is spent. But it can always be a bit of a riot. But the true story of Black Friday is even darker. The term Black Friday was first used on September the 24th, 1869. Two investors drove up the price of gold and caused a crash that day. The stock market dropped 20% and foreign trade stopped. Uh, farmers suffered a 50% dip in wheat and corn harvest values in America. And estimates say that Jay Gold, one of the investors, may have profited $12 million. In the 1950s, Philadelphia police used the term Black Friday uh, to refer to the day between Thanksgiving and the Army and Navy American football game. Huge crowds of shoppers and tourists went to the city that Friday, uh, as they did every year, uh, but the cops had to work long hours to cover the crowds and the traffic. Merchants in the area tried to change the name to Big Friday, but it didn't catch on. Um, so Black Friday has stayed with us. Uh, by the late 1980s, Black Friday had spread nationally and now, well, it's come to our own, own shores of the UK. Uh, some uh, want to focus on the positive part that Black Friday is allowing businesses to get back on their feet. But actually, when we see those images of people fighting over goods, we know there's something uh, kind of almost visceral about people's want and need and greed to get the things that they want. I wonder, what is it that you're trying to get in this world? Is there something that you're missing that if you got it, it would change your life? In response to Black Friday, there's been a uh, an opposite movement that wanted to kind of change the emphasis from a kind of greed and shopping and consumerism uh, to something else. The response to Black Friday is buy nothing day. Do you know that every single thing we buy affects uh, the rest of the world? And just think about the number of people in the world and the amount of things that we're buying each day. I mean, it's mind boggling. The developed countries of our world um, take up only about 20 percent of the earth. However, we uh, use about 80 percent of the planet's resources. This can lead to, well, you know, as we all know, environmental damage and uh, there's an inequitable uh, imbalance between the, the, the north and the global south about uh, wealth and uh, wealth distribution, especially. You know, we're all consumers. Uh, we, we have to consume to live. We have to eat. And, and, but it, we don't have to be into consumerism uh, where that's the kind of rule of life. Um, you know, if we want to care about each other and care about this world, we need to really think about the way we shop and what we do. You know, Black Friday is almost this festival of shopping. But have you, if you've ever been out on a Black Friday, it doesn't feel like a festival. It feels like an ordeal. Um, buy nothing day to participate. All you have to do is do nothing. 
you're doing at the bare minimum. Instead of going out and braving the crowds just to save a few pounds, what if we gave shopping a break for a day? Um, think about the independent businesses out there who can't cut their costs like some of these uh, major brands. You know, we, we're trying to support our local economy and try to do our, our bit for people. Maybe, maybe having a, a, a no shopping day, a buy nothing day is the way forward. You know, Jesus had some things to say about this. And uh, he said, and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? You know, the, the thing is with stuff, our possessions, if we're not careful, our possessions can end up possessing us because we become so concerned about having things and having more and more things. But if we're a bit more open handed with stuff and actually use our energies for different things, uh, then the world could be different. You know, this Black Friday, you know, of course, if you need to get a bargain, go for it. But just think about the way we shop, the way we want to possess, the way we want to own. Uh, if we flipped it and thought, actually, what can we give? What can we do in a positive way? Surely that's a much better way to live. You know, there's a challenge for all of us uh, and, and, and the challenge, for, you know, for myself as well. When I, when, you know, I, I'm, I haven't got it perfect. You know, I, I like stuff. But actually, what if we did something different? What if we, um, instead of buying something, we, we draw something, we sew something, we cook something, we, we sing something, we build something, we, we just make something, but we buy nothing. Well, look, have a great week. I uh, hope you enjoyed it today. And if I don't see you, I'll see you next time. That's it for this week. Bye.